your breakfast before lunch? Oh, uh, could we make it dinner? Uh, is this part of my bed sheet? Oh, Strawberry, I give up. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I fell asleep and they stayed awake. I guess you could say they, uh... Redecorated? It's what pups do. Strawberry, you've been so kind. And then this. I insist on fixing your room. That might take some time. However long it takes, I promise I'll put it back the way it was. That's very honorable of you. You're welcome to stay as long as it takes, then. <gasps> Need some more trash bags? Dance teaching groove booties. Whoa, very cool. <laughs> it looks like they work for more than just me. Yeah, hold on a sec. More of these things, Apple? I can make more. Why? I think I'm having a thought. Okay, Cherry, hit it. <laughs> oh, look at that doggy duet. They're not missing a beat. Ladies and gentlemen, the paws never pause. Whatever. Brought the cider. So, who done it? Who knows? We're only on chapter four. Some people don't like to skip to the end. You want to know the real mystery? It's that you all sit here every week wondering about it instead of finishing the book at home. <laughs> Ouch! That was pretty good. Have a popover. I made him myself. Sour helped me. She taught me everything I know. Psych! <laughs> no, here, just kidding. They're really good, Apple. I knew it. I'm brilliant. Catch you later. Gotta go visit with my real friends. <laughs> see you! Not if I see you first. What? You were right about the dark side. What did you do to her? Just gave her a cooking lesson. And she's a natural. And there was nothing natural about that. Nothing naturally. Apple, she's acting like... like you. Oh, no. She's a... sour apple. <laughs> small enough to run the berry works. You know, you're right. Just show me what to do. I helped cause this problem. Now I'm going to help fix it. I'll help too. Me too. Me too. Let's go, girls. All right. Raspberry, we're going to need more of your perfume. Uh, 
But the princess needs me to help run the berry works. And besides, I'm much too small to reach any of the flowers. That's not so. Even though we're bitty, we can do big things. Especially if some of the berrykins reach the flowers for you. Oh, I just thought of something. While we're running the berry works, who's going to run our shops? Fruit salad coming up as soon as I figure out how to make it. Hmm. Where's my waffle? Two cups of tea on table five. Where's the waffle board that came before? Why do you make a waffle? Don't ask me, I better cut the board. Neither am I. Look at all of these. What do we do? Where are they supposed to go? I know. We'll sort them by color. He's right. Dips on green. What a great idea. So, what do we do? Whatever the Barricans used to do. Come on. Mm, that one. I sure wish we could do it the way the berry can do it. They make it look so easy, but it's not. tried to change you just to make things easier for me. Oh, I ended up making things awful for all of Berry Bitty City. And now we'll mix another batch to change you and your friends back to normal. Incredible manicure ever! But there's more! <laughs> They're musical! Oh, wow. <laughs> I call them glamicures! They're the greatest! The very best! Most creative salon beautification!
my goodness, this is the greatest thing ever. It is the greatest thing I've ever seen. And here you go, Lemon. And thank you for the wonderful Glamacure. <sighs> this is the greatest beautification success I've ever had. Mr. Longface. to be so kind and considerate to Tad that you've forgotten about everyone else. But you guys are my friends. My very best friends. I could never forget you. What I mean is, Tad has caused a bit of trouble and... But he doesn't know any better. Exactly. I think being responsible for a pet means taking responsibility for any trouble he causes. Because the pet really doesn't know any better. I know. I need to do a better job of being responsible for Tad. I'm doing everything I can think of. I, I don't know what else to do. Well, maybe the best way to care for Tad is to not care for Tad. What do you mean? Orange, I just don't know if Tad belongs here. Oh, Strawberry, please give him, I mean me, another chance. I promise he'll never be any trouble to anyone in Berry Beauty City again. But how? You'll see. I'll I'll train him. You said even though we're bitty, we're capable of big things. And I know I can do this. I won't turn my back on my responsibility to Tad. Well... I've never seen it so neat and tidy in here before. I wanted to do something nice to make it up to you for Tad eating the fashions. Thank you, Orange. Really? It's all mine? I promise Tad will never bother your classes again. Thank you, Orange. I'm hoping the Berrykins will accept some frog rides to make up for all the trouble we caused. Oh, well... <laughs>
Not having much fun, huh, big guy? Yeah. Oh, hi, Strawberry. Hi, Orange. I came to tell you everyone is so pleased about how you apologized for Tad's troubles. <laughs> Everything is back to normal in Berry Bitty City. Oh, that's good. I know it's been difficult, but I know if it meant doing the right thing for Tad, you could do something even more difficult. Of course, I'd do anything for Tad. What is it that's more difficult than all the things I've done so far? I mean, those were big things. What's bigger than that? Letting him go. Oh, Strawberry. Sometimes the very biggest things we have to do are the things we can't even see. There it is. Do you think he's going to think I don't love him? Oh, I'm worried he'll never get over it. Oh, Tad, I know this is difficult. Try to be strong. <gasps> say goodbye. But did you see how happy he was? Yeah, you're right. He wasn't just happy. He was the happiest I've ever seen him. Oh, and that makes me happy too. How about a picnic? I think that is a very good idea. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to be officially crowned by Princess Berrykin. But I wanted you to get the whole, you know, the whole idea. I really feel like a queen. Mail delivery, Mr. Raspberry Tort. Oh, goodness. Is that your regatta queen costume? <laughs> it is indeed. Didn't Raspberry do a wonderful job? You both do very bitty city justice. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Would you like your mail now as well, Miss Shortcake? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> mail? Got a buzz. <laughs> Have a very nice day. Oh, wow. It's the invitation to your spring fashion show at the fountain. Thank you, Raspberry. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh-oh. What a oh I'm sorry, Raspberry, but Barry and Bruce planned the big water show weeks ago and wanted to keep it a surprise. Otherwise, you would have known that he wanted the same date as you. Well, I could move my date and resend the invitations, I guess. Let's see if we can work this out. Well, hi, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Hello, Hello Barry and Bruce. Bruce. I wonder if you could help us, Barry Kim Bruce. Raspberry sent out invitations to a fashion show she has planned around the fountain. A fashion show? How very wonderful. <sighs> My new spring line. Um, and it's for the same day that you wanted to do your water show. Shh! It's a surprise. I know. She only told me because, well, I was wondering, since no one knows about it yet, could you maybe be flexible with your date? Maybe you could put your show off one day, or have it the day before, or two days before, or two days after, or... Am I invited? Well, sure. <laughs> of course you're invited. Well, I don't see why I couldn't have the water show the day after. Oh. oh, thank you, Barry King Bruce. You saved my spring fashion show. Oh, well, it's nothing. I'm glad to help. 